Hi, I'm Trawler Specialist Jeff Merrill. I'd like to introduce you to my good friend, Douglas Cochran. Jeff and I have teamed up to make a series of videos called The Physics of Docking. Well, isn't this glorious? Beautiful day, beautiful boat, full tanks of fuel. When we leave San Diego, we could turn right and be in Ketchikan, Alaska in a week or 10 days. We could turn left and get to the Panama Canal in, in a little less than that. Or if we go straight, we could be in Honolulu in about two weeks. Master of our own destiny, complete freedom and independence. Of course, we also have complete responsibility for our own upkeep because there's nobody out there that's going to help us. A great way to live. You ready? Yeah, all right. Hi, I'm Trawler Specialist Jeff Merrill aboard the Nordhaven 57 with Douglas Cochran, my good friend and a master of docking maneuvers. Uh, Douglas is going to work with me on a series of videos, and this one is about center of balance. Douglas. So what we're talking about with center of the balance is, is the boat will pivot on its center point. And we're going to show you a number of examples of how this happens. But the reason it's important is because when you're maneuvering your boat in tight quarters, you need to know how to move it around without going very far forwards or backwards because you may not have room to do that. So let's get into some of the animations. We'll show you how it works. Dick and Jane rotate up and down on the teeter-totter, which is balanced on a pivot point. Boats have a pivot point that they turn on. When the bow turns one way, the stern turns the other. Okay, so every boat has a pivot point, and the boat will turn on that pivot point. And typically, it's, it's in the center of the boat, so in this boat, it's right underneath my seat. So you'll notice that when I turn the bow, the stern turns in the opposite direction. And that's how every boat will operate, big or small. It doesn't matter what size of boat, they all have a pivot point near their center. Remember that we can't steer the bow. To turn the bow, we must drive the stern in the opposite direction. We need to be aware of what's behind us so the stern doesn't crash into the dock or pilings or other boats. We just can't do that kind of thing. We want to make it's sure like carrying something going. on your shoulder. And everything should work when you steer the front end somewhere, pay attention to what's happening behind Buddy. you. Buddy! What? Here's an exercise you can try on your own boat. Find an empty stretch of water on a calm day. At dead slow, practice making tight turns one way or the other. Get a feel for how your boat rotates on its pivot point. Then try the same drill at a higher speed. Notice that the steering gets stiffer as more water flows over the rudder. We can use this pivot action to maneuver our boats into and out of tight spots. That's what docking is all about. A couple things to think about when you're coming into the marina, obviously having your fenders ready and your dock lines ready. I like to have the windlass ready just in case I need to stop. And speaking of stopping, there's a lot of little things on the water you need to be looking for. Kayaks, stand up paddle boards, and sometimes you have to do a hard stop. So we're underway, you put it in reverse, give it some throttle, look at the side to see where you are in motion you can come to rest pretty quickly. So we're out in open water practicing this, but it is a good maneuver to be comfortable doing. In upcoming sequences, we'll show you several examples of ways to use this interaction to your advantage. You've probably noticed the large orange X on the bimini of this ocean crossing boat. Have you ever heard how hard it is to spot a white boat in the white spume of a major tropical storm? A Coast Guard helicopter needs a reference point to drop a rescue swimmer onto or near a distressed vessel. X marks the spot. So stay tuned, we've got lots more cool stuff to show you. Hi Trawler fans, thank you for watching the JMYS YouTube video channel. You can subscribe by clicking the button below. And if you'd like to watch one of our other listings or check out one of our other Trawler Skills videos, you can click on one of those on the side. Thanks, and we hope to see you back here again soon.